All right, we're live. <laughs> it's the Nerd Sports and Life podcast. And I'm leggy as hell. <laughs> All right, well, let's start. I got no intro this time except I have a cat with me. <laughs> All right, so we, the first thing we we're going to talk about is our our ASIN trips since we've had three years in ASIN, right? Yeah, yeah, I think about three was like what junior year of high school is when we started going. Yeah, it was like when I was senior, it was two thousand eleven. I was senior. Was it senior? Yeah. Maybe maybe it was senior. Yeah, yeah, that would make sense because junior we didn't. Okay, so yeah, that would be what, 2013, 2014, 2015? Yeah, yeah, those are all the years we've gone. And yeah, at uh, least the last year, we didn't have to wait uh, in line for uh, two and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, at least. What was your favorite year? I'd have to say my favorite year was probably the first year because it was like the first time there, like everything was just so new. Like you'd never, like I'd never been to a convention before in my life. And it was like, what? Like I had never even like all the stuff they had set up, like how big the, the center was, like everything was just so huge. And there were so many people I didn't even, I didn't like, when I thought of a convention, I didn't think, I didn't think they were, I knew they were big, but I didn't think they were like that big. I mean, Ace and obviously is the biggest in the Midwest, but still it was like, holy crap. Yeah. You can see all the cosplayers and like, well, like how much detail they put into their like outfits. Like I saw a Commander Shepard guy, and he had like he had the shine on the the armor and everything. It looked like it was real metal or whatever they would made it made it out of. He like shaved his head to be like Shepard. He had the oh, he even put like scars on his face because it was like the Mass Effect Two Shepard mm-hmm. that was like scar. And I was like, holy crap! That that's like. I don't know. It was just, it was all so, it was just all really amazing. So my first year was probably my favorite because it's all like when you get to discover it all. And I think that's, that was, that was the most amazing for me, just seeing it all at, for the first time. Yeah, it was pretty cool because I was so used to like watching YouTube videos and watching people go to conventions, but actually finally being one. It's pretty cool. And a lot, a lot of hot chicks there too. <laughs> that was the other good thing. A lot of very good, uh, a lot of good stuff. A lot of, I'm like, I like this. Hi, a lot of Yuko cosplayers. <laughs> Did you see on the our, oh our second year there was a girl dressed as uh the the chick from uh, what is it the one that was a girl the gun kill a kill. Oh um the princess one. Uh, Ri- Ryuko? Was it Ryuko? No, I think Ryuko was the. Is that her name? No, that was the good girl. Oh, the other one. The other one, yeah. It was a Kieran. I think so. I don't remember. The Kieran's. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I remember. You she was dressed in that. Her boobs yeah. are huge, and they were all pressed together with tiny amount of clothes. <laughs> it was it was a good thing to see. <laughs> yeah, those are the sort of like the, the added benefits of uh of uh conventions. Just <laughs> a lot of hot. You get the occasional really hot female, and it's like nice. Yeah, nice. I like. Yeah, I like the first year. Also occasion- Which one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first year was definitely the best. Yeah, I liked the first year a lot. The thing I liked about the second year was besides the waiting in line, which sucked, uh, there was a lot more people, <laughs> so we got to see a lot more cosplay, and there was a lot more booths, I think, that year, the second year. Yeah, yeah, yeah the second year was, was probably our most, even compared to this year, I think our second year has been our best year yeah, because we went on a crowded. And when we, when did we go on? Did we go on Sunday or Saturday? Yeah, so and so our the second. first convention we went on a Sunday. Our second convention we went on a Saturday and our third convention we went on a Friday. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll definitely go Saturdays. Yeah, if you, you go to Ace go, and I would go on Saurdays, mm-hmm, Yeah, Saturdays would be the most, would be the most crowded with most people. Just make sure you buy your tickets online. Yeah. don't You don't want to wait two and a half hours in line. That's what we did and it was we got there at two and we didn't get in until like 4 30. <laughs> no 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 we got there like at 12 but we got in at 12 at 2 30. oh yeah was that was it 12 and 2 or 2 and 4 i don't know and then our sec- i know it was two hours and then hour during our second that. convention it was like a week after my mom had surgery so she was still hurt but she still wanted to go <laughs> so she that had to fun. wait so it was painful for her waiting in line that long and uh, we should just pick her up <laughs> oh yeah like Made, uh, made like a made like a, a chair for her. I I you'd mend that you'd sit up or I'd mend down. I mean, she'd just sit down and we'll just move along the line. <laughs> <laughs> so, and but yeah. So I think what I liked about the first year was finally being able to see figures and all that stuff, being able to just buy them instead of having to go online. When you first see that uh, when you first see that whole booth just with like the glass, all the figures in the glass, it's all lit up. Like 
yeah. 500 figures. You're just like, holy the, and those crap. big uh, boots with tons of figures weren't even there on the last one we went on, on the Friday. Yeah. Yeah, no, there weren't a lot. It's like they were mainly Saturday. It's why Saturday, I think, is the best yeah, day. Next time we'll definitely go on Saturday then. I think that's best. And hopefully we can actually stay because this, when we went on Friday because we wanted to see, uh, what was it? The, what are they called? Oh, the uh, Scandal. Scandal, yeah, Scandal concert. But we ended up not staying because we had a bad yeah. sleep the day before. Yeah, one sec. Yeah. Fill me up, baby. Yeah. All right, so yeah. Um, this candle concert. <laughs> we were so tired because we had gotten only like two hours of sleep prior because we were there was one mode of transportation that we were gonna take and then it didn't happen and then we drove and it was it was all very <laughs> and then we didn't so, we didn't even have a hotel. Definitely no, yeah, definitely definitely make sure you have a planned mode of transportation to get there. And don't ever ask your parents for help. <laughs> yeah, we did. Yeah, next That'll time we're more. hopefully staying there for at least a day. Oh, we're going to try a weekend, but at least we're going to try to go Saturday. Saturday, we'll try to make it. Yeah, Saturday. So next time we have a meetup, people will be able to get our autographs. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be hard finding people today, so I mean, the thing is just huge. Well, we'll be so crowded with people around us wanting our autograph, they'll find us. Just by the <laughs> screaming of the girls. Oh, yeah. That's how it's going to work. <laughs> uh, Nobody funny. wants yeah. our autographs. Then you also got the uh, people who dress up as titans because they want to show off how buff they are. <laughs> yeah, a lot of guys like that, they just dress up with no shirt just to make sure everybody can see how muscular they are. <laughs> so, ooh, look at me, I'm buff. It's like, eh, screw you. <laughs> <laughs> they like splatter some paint on them. Yeah, but... well, there's that guy who was bang and the one and he was like super ripped and he had like a tattoo on his head and his arms and, and then, then the all like orange pants yeah, yeah, orange like, pants. Oh, wow, i wonder why you're doing that yeah he just wanted to be half naked like, you, you really don't have <laughs> yeah but he's definitely a fun thing oh i mean yeah i mean overall it's not like i've never had a bad experience not yet not yet next time i'm gonna cosplay as uh as a uh, nudist to beach <laughs> <laughs> Don't you want to cosplay as a yeah. half dog? Yeah, whatever that is. A ridiculous show. Yep, that's yeah. what I'm going to go as cosplay as. Nudist Beach. Or as Nudist. a kill a kill character. Cosplay as uh, Kamina. Kamina. <laughs> I'll cosplay as the robot guru in the gun. I've seen Go some ahead. videos of people cosplay as that. It looks pretty cool. When they put a lot of effort on the guy had like a like even the the thing he was spinning the the drill. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Dude. So yeah, it's, it's cool. Part. Like you get some pretty amazing cosplays. Yeah. Too bad we don't have the arts the art abilities to make cosplays yeah. perfect. I'm no good at it. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Well, Yet. That's why. That's no why I'm not a cosplayer. Yet. Yeah, I'll be the best cosplayer ever. You'll see me on articles, on news, on Times Magazine. <laughs> All of a sudden, the best cosplayer ever. Like they would even care. And I just started. This, this, this is my first convention cosplay, and I'm already the best. <laughs> Too bad I don't have big boobs, and I'm a chick, or else people would actually care. Too bad, I, yeah, that I'm not a chick. <laughs> Nobody cares if you're not a chick. Don't worry, I'll just play a generic Japanese uh, protagonist. <laughs> you need the black hair, oh, jeans, shirt, and like a pullover shirt, like a like a jean, like not a jean jacket shirt, but like a like a like a sort of like a zip up sweatshirt and just the hood and back and comb my hair over this way make it like really long and you like spike out to the side spike out that way and you're a generic uh, anime character uh-huh and then and then i'm like oh, oh. what <laughs> are these chicks like me <laughs> i'm gonna be completely useless and then all oh, and my whole my whole the whole thing will be about me trying to become useful i'll just be so angry at myself because i'm useless i'm not strong enough and I'll have to get stronger and stronger <laughs> until I'm the strongest. To you, the strongest. Even if it doesn't make any sense to the plot. <laughs> and then the next season, you're back to being weak. Uh, and I just have to do it all over again. <laughs> and then you have, uh, and there you have the generic anime protagonist. Yeah, but if you guys want to go to Ace and definitely go on a Saturday, that's the best day by far. Yeah. It's most fun, most booth, best people just, from what from what I've been to. Yeah, just make sure to bring money because things are expensive. <laughs> Yeah, shit's not cheap. 
Yeah, anyway. Like, like, my, my Neo figure was like 70, 80 bucks. Yeah, I normally bring I normally bring it two hundred bucks just in total. Or hundred and fifty at least. Yeah, I would at least bring one hundred and fifty, two hundred. Yeah. Because you're gonna get food too if you're gonna be there for a long time. I mean I mean, I don't know. <laughs> if you gotta view there's the hotel right next if you I mean for whatever convention you're going to if you're gonna stay there the weekend obviously you're gonna have to find a hotel. And get the hotel in advance. I mean, if anybody doesn't know this, <laughs> I mean, it's like explaining it, but you know, I figure if you don't then you know, just gotta make sure you get your hotel in advance and bring money. And then we have another con- a small like our local convention, which we we might go to this week, next week, right? On the twenty second. Next week, yeah. This day yeah, this coming weekend. Mm-hmm. Which is uh, it's just a a small little anime convention we have. I don't know how many people are there. Like maybe a hundred, maybe two hundred. How much? They said it was. Uh, I think it was up to a thousand. Oh, a thousand! It didn't seem like a thousand. Yeah, they said it got up to a thousand at its peak. That's pretty cool. I mean, in terms of attendance, like, like in total? you know, um, for, through all Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, mm. it's like uh, equivalent of, I think, a thousand people came. Uh, it was pretty good size. It was pretty, it was pretty good. Well, I mean, you know, they like, you know, it's mad. It comes from like all the surrounding, you got Madison, uh, Middleton, all, all the surrounding areas. Yeah. So it seems, so, it's pretty cool. Mad. It's small. Not, that, that one I'm bringing no, 500 dollars. Like not even close to as big as Aizen. No, not even close. It's just a small little local thing. And we're, last time we went, we we were only able to go there for like an hour or two because we needed to go to work. Because we didn't even know about the convention until the day of. There was no yeah. advertisement. Even this year is hard because my work is right next to there. So they're going to be like, you can't leave. We're going to get tons of business, blah, blah, blah. It's like, eh, I want to go to the convention. I mean, I will be able to go because, again, I don't work till later at night. But What about Sunday? Still. Sunday you don't work till like... What no, I do work on Sunday. Oh, yeah, I'm do. probably yeah. I could just call in sick. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need Sunday up exactly at this time. Well, I I'd only work like three hours on Sunday, so it's like not that I care. I'm just like Meh. yeah. So yeah, but that I mean, little bit of convention don't. was pretty fun. A little bit yeah. of cosplay here and there, and uh, a couple booths, not too much. Although I, it was interesting how they had the computer set up in the in the room, that was that was pretty awesome. Yeah, like had, League of Legends, I think it was. Yeah, they had a huge game room, and the, I mean, I know the, like the biggest part was the rock band stage, and then there was just a oh, bunch yeah, of yeah, arcade machines awesome. with a bunch the of the Dance computers. Dance Revolution, right? Was it Dance Dance? Yeah, there was a Dance, Dance, Dance Dance. Yeah. God, that was fun. But we didn't we didn't get to do anything. So you guys think about going to the conventions because you don't know if you are like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna fit in. Well, that seems really weird. Just go. Because trust me, it is fun as fuck. <laughs> yeah, conventions are pretty fun. More fun with more You probably people. want to go with a friend or something, though, because yeah. going by yourself would be kind of awkward, just out of the blue. At least one friend. But you definitely want to go with a friend. At least one other nerdy friend. Unless you got no friends. Yeah. yeah. Then send okay. us a message and we'll meet up. <laughs> yeah, because we're nerdy, too. It's like, we we'll go, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter. We just, this is why it's nerd sports and life. <laughs> But that, the nerds part is like you want someone to meet up with we'll go <laughs> the nerds part's the part where we're most interested <laughs> that's the one that yeah, relates because, most to us that's because we can mostly relate to that yeah that's what we are so uh the next part we wanted to talk about was uh going off from ace it's raining going off from ace and it's um what was it oh steroids yeah yeah i was reading the uh article about uh i think it was i don't know if it was on vice or something and it was like talking about uh performance enhancing drugs in uh professional gaming like in terms of like reaction times and focus like you never really think about it because you know the gaming the professional gaming scene just hit the just hit the the sort of what, what do i want to say hit the hit hit the popularity just like two years like i think it was when what season three world championships or something yeah when it really kicked off it's and then you know everyone's like okay cool whatever you, you don't really think about performance enhancing drugs because they're not it's nothing physical like they're not there's no physical advantage between it. you figure it's fair game for each each team it's fair game but then you know you come out and say oh well there are now drugs or energy drinks on the market that allow that improve reaction time and focus and it's like what yeah. you never I heard even that adderall even, was you, a big thing think yeah i heard that adderall yeah. was a big thing for focus yeah, Adderall. Well, yeah, it's 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 interesting. Well, I mean, that's what they prescribe for. Uh, I think it's ADHD. I think so. I think that's what they prescribe. So attention deficit disorder prescribe Adderall to help give you focus. I mean, 
And even if you don't have ADHD, giving you Adderall will help you focus more. So I can see how that would see how that would work. I mean, it's obviously esports doesn't work like other physical sports. Like obviously, there's different elements to it, but the idea of you know making yourself the best you can at it hasn't changed throughout any sport, whether it be an esport or a regular sport. You know, you got wanting to be the. Yeah, it's cre- it's crazy. Oh, now we have that. Do you know what in Vice what they were banning, or if they were what the Vice article? Do you know they were banning anything in particular? You no, know, I have no idea. All I know is that they were talking about it. Yeah, I mean, I I would think they would because, you know, they for a little bit of time they had the oh we you know the one sport the the esport that nobody could there was it was all fair and game you know it was in a video game the rules were set you know oh there's no way anybody can cheat or this or that and then. This comes along and say, "Oh well, I take Adderall." It's like, holy crap! <laughs> yeah, because like, so I, I need to take Adderall to, do that. to get better at video games. I gotta make sure I gotta have all the advantages. Yeah, <laughs> yeah <because laughs> specifically the one that I was. I've been sitting at home taking Adderall <laughs> and drinking like focused drinks. Like, I gotta be fast. I gotta, I'm in silver four. I gotta, gotta, gotta get, gotta get to silver three. <laughs> <laughs> taking drugs. <laughs> for Sorry, a video we're just game. taking Adderall for a video game. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the one I'm... I mean, in their stance, because. They're professionals making a salary and making tons of money. I guess it kind of makes sense, but with everyone else, it's kind of like, yeah. Yeah, the one that I was, that I was most. I mean, interested obviously, it's a drive to be I the best at what you want to do. <laughs> I was the one I was most interested in was uh. So I, I listen to this. Comment. No sponsorships here, no, because we're so small. We're not gonna get sponsored. So I, I always listen, uh, use the the company on it. I use a lot of their supplements and stuff. And uh, the one I was most interested in was Alpha Brain, which I haven't even t- I haven't taken yet. I might take it for school. But basically, what it does is it it increases I think reaction times, your memory, and uh, I think uh, one other thing, and uh, that would be perfect for gaming if you can have better memory, quicker reaction times, and better just better thinking. That would be a huge advantage in gaming. And you saw this on on it. Yeah, on it. They have it. It's like the biggest their biggest um. What's it called? Their biggest supplement, their most popular one. They even they even went to a RTX, which is a Rooster Teeth convention convention, and uh, yeah. they were they had a booth there, and it was their highest selling their highest selling uh, supplement product. Yeah, their highest selling product supplement. Most people use it for like school, or a lot of a lot of people use it for podcasting. They take it before podcasts, just so they have the a better Amazing. memory. Mm-hmm. And uh, man, it's easier to recall. Yeah. You're easy to recall. That's why it's good for school and things like that because, I don't know, memory. Pretty important. And, uh, yeah, they, they had a booth in RTX and apparently they were, like, f- filled. Like, a lot of people were buying their stuff and things. So it could be, like, something as, as small as a supplement could be a, a supplement that just helps your reaction time and your memory. Could also, I guess, be an advantage. I'm not sure if that's that would be illegal in the future or something like that. It would be weird to ban a supplement, though. Yeah, because a supplement's different than a a steroid in a way. I mean, Adderall, obviously, that's that's a bit of a step. But I guess a supplement, I don't know. It's it depends on where you draw the line. Like, I mean, to say athletes don't use a lot of supplements is just you eat doesn't you know they do obviously because you know they want to try to be the best at what they're at. It's just the question is you have to differentiate between supplements versus steroids which isn't i guess for some people that hard but yeah i guess i guess they just ban him when it has negative consequences in your body right yeah and this one i don't think it has negative like when you take some of them goes numb that would be a, would be a pretty negative con- <laughs> yeah that would be pretty bad yeah it seems like, yeah i don't know i guess we'll, we'll see in the future how esports make sure people aren't cheating or don't have an advantage over the other people. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see where esports goes. Yeah, I'm excited for that. How it adapts. I, I don't even know when the next League of Legends tournament is. The big one, the World Championship. Yeah. That's like in winter, right? Fall, isn't it? Is it fall? Or winter? I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long since we've done anything league. I'll probably still watch it though. I'll be interested watching the Koreans or. Well, yeah, because it's fun to watch the pros. It's always fun to watch the pros things because you know you get to. Some of the matches can be really exciting. <laughs> yeah. Like, I remember back, was it season two, where the uh, the Karthus alt Got and killed by, like, Quadra killed all off, like, quick life steal off the wolves. Was, yeah, it was something they was that was, It was pretty cool. He was so close to getting the Penta kill in the, in the world championships. 
Yeah, that's a that's a quadra kill. It's like holy crap. It's probably the first and last time Karthus was ever used. Or well, maybe not the first time. Probably the last time Karthus was ever used in a in a world championship. Champ like super important championship match. But going back to steroids, too bad. Uh, I was watching. You know that uh, so we were watching this Olympic lifter. Not, was it Olympic? I don't think it was just a lifter, right? And I can't remember his name. Yeah. Uh, Mark Campbell or something like I don't. Yeah, he's, he's the guy who like deadlifted eight hundred pounds. Is that the guy we're talking about? Yeah, the one that. It, it, yeah, and then I was watching one of his newer videos, and he was talking about the myths of uh, of uh, of steroids, which is interesting because I was just watching that like a couple minutes ago before we started the podcast, and we we're going to talk about steroids, and um, it just happens that I landed on that video, and he was talking about how like. Basically, a lot of people just take steroids without having the proper diet or having the proper exercise, and it doesn't do anything. He says that a person that has proper diet and proper exercising could have more energy, more, more muscle mass than a person on steroids. A lot of people take it wrong. They think that just by taking steroids and working out, you'll become better or buffer stronger. But he says that just by having a good diet and uh, having a good diet and having a good exercise, I think you can just gain as much as steroid users who don't know what they're doing. But it seems like he's probably using huh. steroids. 890 <laughs> pounds is a lot. Yeah, it might have been 800. I don't know. I don't know. It might have been a different guy. But it's just interesting to see, you know, it's it's one thing preaching about it and the other thing is actually doing it. I mean, how many people will say, oh, don't do steroids, but then on the other hand, take steroids. Yeah. And then after that, I saw a, a guy lifting oh, 1,060 pounds on a deadlift. Yeah, how much? 1,063. Oh, 1,063, damn. Yeah, that was a 2015 champion. And it's like his shins, they all bleed and stuff. I don't know from what. I don't I don't deadlift that much, so I wouldn't know why the legs are bleeding. That seems pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd ever deadlift that heavy either. I, I, I will. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. I think I don't think I, even if even if I like my buffest, I don't think I could deadlift 1,090 or was it 1,053 you said? 1,063, I think. I don't think I could uh, deadlift 1,062 pounds even if I was super buff and weighed like 200 pounds. I don't think I could do it. <laughs> it's so much mass. Because I'm just not, my frame just isn't big enough. Yeah, apparently when you start... My hands are not physically big enough or strong enough to not lift now, that. But <laughs> if you start taking steroids in, it becomes yeah. super buff. <laughs> yeah. It's just interested in getting fact from fiction. Cause I, I can, you know, you can see the appeal of the steroids. I mean, you get the muscle for half the work. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Yeah, it seems like a really easy thing to fall into, especially in the gym where a lot of people apparently take steroids. And, uh, you know, just wanting to get stronger, buffer, better looking, I guess. Although I was, I was watching this video and they were talking about how... Well, you, we all know that men find visuals more attractive than females, right? Yeah. But what they found is that uh, scent is more attractive for females. It's, it's like one of the number one most attractive things. Really? Yeah, scent. Huh. Which is why this was part of a, a style type video. So he was talking about how uh, perfume, uh, not perfume, cologne, <laughs> perfume. Uh, a perfume? C cologne. You mentioned use like some uh, cologne because it could, um, because since women like the scent, the, the most important things are scent and imagination for a woman. While for men, it's basically visual. So having correct uh, scent on you is pretty important because they've also found that women are just more sensitive to smell <laughs> than men. So what you that I did not know. Yeah, so I you could smell know. like a bit of sweat on you, and you can't smell it as a guy, but a woman could definitely smell it, which is why it's always important to have deodorant huh. and cologne and all that stuff because women have a stronger sense of smell. So something that's why you could smell bad to her, but you wouldn't even know. I did not even know that. Yeah, I didn't even know that was possible. Huh. It was wow. why every time I have a little bit of sweat on me, I make sure to clean up or. But I'm more deodorant or something because they're more. Yeah. They more they smell it more than we do. Wow. Well. Yeah. Now I know. Now I have to wear a lot more cologne and make sure not to sweat as much. <laughs> make sure I don't sweat at them. Become Asian. Yep. Don't sweat at all, even though it's natural. Nope. <laughs> not gonna sweat. I'm not cooling down. <laughs> I'm not cooling down, body. I'll superheat before I sweat. <laughs> Your body temperature is 115 degrees. <laughs> Yeah, so make sure everybody listening put on some great cologne, some super sexual oh. cologne, nah. like Axe body spray. 
apparently a lot of women don't like X. That I do know is that they think it's for people who just like smoke a lot of weed and try to cover up the smell. They like teenagers, yeah. Like they, they don't they like cologne. Like professional, like expensive cologne. Uh, yeah. Stuff that doesn't smell like X. <laughs> I don't have any cologne right now. I have some, but I don't I don't use it much because I don't go out I don't go out much. I just go out to work. <laughs> Yeah, just, you know, well, hey, you're making money. Yeah, I just go from home to work, and then that's it. <laughs> that's why we're nerds. That's the whole nerd part of it. Yeah, really go. Now that school's going to start soon, I might start going out, though. Out to school and then back home. <laughs> so, yeah, now, now, we, now, you have, now you have less of an excuse not to get women. Now you know. Scent is important. And visuals obviously aren't as important, which is funny. Yeah. So no no point in working out, no point in looking good, guys. Just just it's all about scent. It's all about scent imagination. All that just, all that crap. <laughs> and for a guy, it's just purely visual. The boobs, the butt, that's it, and the face, yeah. obviously. Yeah. So yeah. that was that was Pretty. that was our that was our nerd segment. Um, yeah. For our for our, for the next one, which is the sports segment, yeah, the man stuff. Yeah, <laughs> sponsored by the NFL. <laughs> We're sponsored yeah. by the NFL. Imagine that. <laughs> that would be fun. That would be fun. Because uh, we make tons of money. Yeah, well, that'd be crazy. <laughs> for, uh, for the so if one of the UFC thinks so. Um, one of the champions, which is Cain Velasquez, he was the the heavyweight champion, and he was out for two years, and then he came back, and then he got destroyed um one of the reasons he got so he had some of the best cardio in the ufc but uh he fought in mexico at a i don't remember what the elevation is like five thousand or six thousand feet up yeah something like that and uh he basically gassed out in the first round because he only went to mexico and for two weeks he didn't acclimatize and the the current champion which is um fabricio verdum he went to mexico six months earlier and lived in elevation higher than where the fight was going to be, a thousand feet higher than where the fight was going to be take place. So he was like perfectly acclimatized and everything. And uh, as you see in the fight, the um, the current champion of Verdum, he just doesn't gas out. He's he's doing really good. Cain Velasquez, which used to have the best cardio, he just got gassed out and, and um, got beat. And I think the third round he got choked out. And uh, even during the even like before the fight, you could tell that he was not uh, confident. He was like he was really nervous. That, even just when you you know where they're yelling their names on in the center of the ring and stuff, yeah. he just seemed really nervous. He didn't seem like a like he normally does. And uh, obviously, when he started fighting, because he had been out for two years, so yeah. <laughs> you could see why somebody would be nervous. Yeah, so they just made the announcement that they're gonna have a rematch in I think December or something like that. I don't know what month. I think later this year. And I don't know. I don't know if I, I like that because uh, one of the reasons is well because he doesn't if he if he had no confidence during that last fight he he didn't seem like he had co- much confidence at least and um, and then put him back right into the championship you think they would have given him at least an easier fight to help him build his confidence back up because being out for two years then coming back fighting against that guy getting destroyed and then lose your championship and then immediately have to fight the champion again I don't know it seems like a lot of stress. So it would have been easier if they just had him fight an, another guy, beat him, and then build up his confidence again. Yeah. Yeah. I can see where that. I can see where you're coming with that. I mean, I don't know. I, I maybe maybe it'll be like a maybe maybe it'll be like a determination, sort of like a Rocky Balboa kind of thing. Like go straight for the champion, see you can do it again, reclaim your title. I mean, maybe getting beat was way for him to reflect and say now he's going to train a lot harder yeah. now he's going to do what he maybe now he'll do you know he'll acclimatize and do everything he can to win this time yeah we don't know where he's fighting he's probably going to play in vegas this time somewhere where he doesn't have to acclimatize yeah and uh and the next one was uh the ufc i don't remember what ufc 194 or something like that it's going to be december 12th and that one's going to have conor mcgregor conor mcgregor <laughs> against jose that's aldo noise. and that's going to have chris weidman against uh, I can't remember what the other fighter is, but we should definitely meet up and watch that event. Live. Yeah, that one was fun. I always wanted to watch Conor McGregor. Yeah, we should meet up that <laughs> time. You could see the the full fight card in him. Yeah, I can see the full fight card. And then, and then watch the watch the other people get the crap eaten out of them. <laughs> Hopefully, somebody breaks a leg. 
somebody <laughs> break a leg. <laughs> that suck. Yeah, but you could actually we could actually meet up and talk about that that full fight card next time we have a podcast. Next time, <laughs> next time, all the way in December twelfth. Yeah, this is our last podcast till December. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah, that would be sad. So hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully those that was that was my UFC talk, my uh, super <laughs> insightful UFC talk. That'd be interesting. UFC's tough sport, tough sport. Yeah, I know you. Very, very uh, I'm breaking news here that uh, Adam's thinking of joining the UFC, so he's been training mm-hmm. MMA. I am and <laughs> the uh, best. Uh, what was it? Badminton weight or fly fly weight? Badminton weight, which is one thing. Badminton weight. Badminton weight. Nope, I'm the new badminton, <laughs> badminton weight <laughs> with a racket. Yeah, <laughs> we fight with tennis rackets, badminton rackets. <laughs> Eat the crap out of each other. That'd be actually pretty fun to watch. <laughs> it's not fun. Badminton to rackets. Yeah. <laughs> so I have breaking news: Adam's going to be the next yeah, band, badminton best, champion. Best fighter. So you got Hands to so look out for him in a couple months. Yeah, you better. It's it's coming. <laughs> watch He's the best, the best fighter there is. <laughs> and you'll take on uh, Conor McGregor too. And uh, Ronda Rousey and Kane Vasquez at the same time. <laughs> at this... Beat all. And then uh, instead of the Irish pride, Adam's gonna the American, pride, the white man pride. The Wisconsin pride. The Wisconsin, the Wisconsin pride. That's what I'll mean. The Wisconsin pride with cows <laughs> and shit. <laughs> no, there's a there's a deeper meaning to that. I will rally, they'll rally behind me, and then boom, we'll win. We'll win. We'll win. Dun, 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 dun. And we will the Wisconsin be the best up of the home, the birthplace of the best UFC champions ever. <laughs> Which would just be you and one other fighter that he's not even champion, yeah. but he's pretty good. Yeah, he's good. We got he's one good. fighter from Kenosha, Wisconsin. And then the former champion oh, that was yeah. from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So two. As yeah, uh, soon as Ben gets into the... <laughs> as soon as he gets into the UFC, then we'll... yeah, We have a friend. He, well, an uh, acquaintance, not a friend. Yeah, an acquaintance gets him, man. It'd be cool. Yep. Watch. Well, I'll bet on him now. I'm betting on him now. As soon as he gets in there, I'm betting on him winning. I'm betting on him. So let it not be said that I didn't bet on him. <laughs> I'll say he, I, didn't, I didn't bet for him at all. I'm going to bet on him. It'll be good. <laughs> I guess all right, so do we, have, do we have anything else? Was that it? I don't know. That was basically it. That was that was our whole thing. That was our spiel. <laughs> that was it. It's the last podcast of December. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> yeah, it was a shorter podcast, but we... We didn't have too many topics to talk about this week. We'll definitely have more next time. Well, we had three topics like we always do. I guess we just we're we're just so boring. We didn't have much to say. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess right, we'll, yeah. we'll be ending the podcast here. Hopefully, you guys like this a uh, little bit shorter podcast. And I guess we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>